right. Hello, everyone. So I'm sharing on how to uh, prepare for your CV or resume for job. Okay. So um, as I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you need uh, a CV tag. You also need the cover letter and CV or resume and other related document in order to put in a folder and you can apply for uh, your your job right okay so this is this is the real uh, practice or can say the real de 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 demonstration on the class here so this is as you can see here this is my sample um can say a cv tag as you can see so you will print it out and you may uh, just uh, uh tap it on your on your uh, CV fo uh, folder like mm -hmm. yeah and uh, then you also need a co cover letter some some people they put uh, they, they just separated the co uh, cover letter and the CV differently but some they, they, they just uh, insert the cover letter uh, uh, with their CV okay so let's take a look at this CV so first you have to write your, your full name your uh, present uh, current address here and then your phone number and email address uh, yeah or a telegram address and you put the school or the company that you are applying for on the job there yeah. so yes and as you can see here you may show your enthusiasm to the announcement of the company or the school or the institution you're applying for and you tell them the position that you want and you show them the experiences or something about your educational uh, background yeah yes and you also tell them briefly about your personal uh, personal uh, personality something like that just your where you're from and how many uh, uh, like a member family members in your uh, family something like that and then you may put uh, your sincerely and your name here this is just a brief show about the cover letter so we can see uh, i'm showing you the cv or, or, or curriculum vital or we can say another way uh, resume all right so it's similar to the previous one for you had to put your full name address and also phone number and email address then with the, you attach with the, your digital photo here, right? And you have, you, if you have some uh, endpoint here, we have personal data, we have educational background, we have languages, we have employment experience, experience uh, we have uh, training courses, you want to show them and you have uh, computer literacy, interests or hobbies and references at last. But some they just put three or four most important one it's friendly okay it is user friendly so uh uh just uh notice and then you can just uh, add more or you can just uh like uh uh the list of two main points it's up to you right so as you see here in the personal data you can see uh, the uh, name here and your sex and also the date of birth and also marital uh, status and your nationality and the religion wouldn't be okay another one educational background tell them okay pull uh, the educational background please list it uh, from uh, bottom to the top okay so as you can see here 2015 uh, I completed my uh, diploma degree at Banyasastra University of Cambodia, PUC, and then in 2017, 18, and 20, and, and now. And language, uh, first you have to put your mother language, or I mean a native language, your your language. So as you know that our language is Khmer, so it would mother tongue, or we can say native language, we can say a uh, tongue or on uh, a native language native language okay okay since it's native or native language is up to you. it's okay yeah and uh or your la your language the foreign language maybe english or french or thai or spanish or japanese or chinese uh, or vietnamese or the other languages you know just list down here and you mentioned the condition how uh fluently can you use it how how yeah how well can you use the 
uh, the language that you mentioned, right? Okay, so uh, then um, let's take a look at the employment experience. This is, we can say, work experience as well, right? Uh, this is not uh, really not uh, different from uh, the uh, educational background or employment experience uh, regarding the uh, chronology call, okay? So you have to uh, list down from the bottom to the top as the I mentioned earlier, so here um, uh, in 2013, I started a job as a waiter at uh, the restaurant in Phnom Penh here. Then uh, after that, I in 2014, I was a part-time teacher of English at one uh, private school and so on, as you can see here. And at the present, uh, actually this is, uh, I, I updated in 2020, early 2020, so at the time I was uh, unemployed, but now uh, I can update this more. Uh, person now uh, I am a, a mentor and teachers of English as well. So okay, and then after that you have a training courses. You have trained, uh, yeah, you have been trained uh, by the other expert or by the other uh, institution. So you can list down the year. Also, you list down from the bottom to up as well to present. So this is I just uh, pick up a few uh, a few main uh, courses that I've uh, learned and just list down here. Then for computer literacy is important whether you show yourself you can use a um, ICT at work or at uh, yeah at work or not something like that. So you can say, list down the course related to uh, computer literacy, how much you know, how much you know. Uh, and how much can you use the uh, computer or ICT in at work? Okay, your hobby, your interest. Some they don't do. They didn't uh, insert it. Some they don't mention it. But some they do. So it's okay. It's your choice whether to uh, insert it or not. Okay. If you may, you just say what would you like. Okay. But you have to. You have to. Um, to verify, you have to be sure that uh, uh, your hobbies uh, or your interests will not, uh, yeah, affect on your job application as well. Yeah, if it is good, it's okay. But if your hobby is not really good and it's not really appropriate, and then you apply for the appropriate workplace, so it is not really nice. So you have to, uh, you have to consider. The the last one is very important one. You have to ask for a few references, maybe a couple or three. Okay, do not put one reference. Do not put more than three. It's enough, and it is also uh, commonly uh, uh, recommended as well. All right. So first, you have to put the name of the reference, reference. Okay, and then you put his or her uh, like a role, or we can say the company, uh, the company. Okay, institution, and then you put their contact. Okay, maybe telephone or maybe uh, email address, or something like that. But before you list down their name here, you have to um, you have to do is you have to um, ask their permission first whether they allow or not. That, yes, uh, the uh, show number twelve or all the other you have trained with the others so. Just uh, show them about this to, to make more references, okay? Yeah. So I just go quickly here. Yes, of course. And now uh, it's, uh, and also for CVU, this is a, uh, we, a, C, a kind of CV that we write for applying for a job, but we, we, we also have a kind of CV that we apply for uh, in education field, educational field, like a scholarship or something. So I also prepared it for you uh, with a cover letter and also the uh, CV uh, curriculum vital or resume as well. Okay, so um, here you can see here uh, the period. Okay, uh, so I just prepared because I'm looking for the uh, scholarship page. Scholarship. I want to upgrade my uh, uh, level uh, capacity. So I just want to prepare it when it's time and when it is opportunity. Opportunity. I could uh, apply it. Yeah. So another one. I just uh, if you want to apply to many different uh, university or institution. Uh, you can also just change the name of the institution and then uh, 
everything look really similar okay really similar and you do uh yeah see we the same thing but uh, just hang a, a little bit uh, on the cover letter or covering letter so you just change institution or university name and then the scholarship grant here and tell them you're looking for a postgraduate academy for extending your knowledge something like that uh, i prepare for applying in the uh, royal university Phnom Penh, and the last one i applied for already because they choose only uh yeah, one candidate, and I'm not sure whether it is successful or not. So I applied already. I'm waiting for the result as well. So I'm applying for the PhD scholarship grant at Bill Bright University, BBU, uh, the Phnom Penh branch. So just waiting for that, right? So here's the samples of the curriculum uh, or CV and cover letter that you learn. You can you could learn and you could also. Um, uh, practice and apply it in your real life okay thank you so much everyone and i hope that you got this and then uh, it's just uh, uh, revise or just edit whatever you want and you can make for your own okay thank you so much <laughs>